Pelvic fractures with bleeding. Pelvic fractures may cause significant bleeding. The sacroiliac joint has important anatomy to the superior gluteal artery and to the sciatic nerve. In addition to the superior gluteal artery, there is an important obturator artery in the vicinity of the pelvic bone. The superior gluteal artery is responsible for the majority of bleeding in pelvic fracture with arterial injury. However, most of the bleeding in pelvic fractures is from the veins and the fracture itself. Hemorrhage is the most life-threatening complication associated with pelvic injuries. It is usually hemorrhage of the superior gluteal artery. Approximately 10% of patients will have severe bleeding. Severe bleeding usually occurs in fracture patterns that are highly unstable to both rotational and vertical forces. The first type is APC3, an open book-like type. You can see in the front the symphysis pubis diastasis, and sometimes it is the pubic rami that are fractured. In the back, the sacroiliac joint is totally disrupted, and the pelvis is in external rotation. You can see here all the ligaments are disrupted. The second type is the vertical shear fracture. The hemipelvis goes up, it is a bad fracture. You can see most of the ligaments are disrupted from front to back. You can see the two types, the anteroposterior compression fracture and vertical shear fracture. These are the two types that will bleed heavily and will require a lot of blood transfusion. The mortality rate is directly related to shock at the time of presentation. Bleeding from the superior gluteal artery may be fatal. How do you treat patients with pelvic fracture and major bleeding? A decrease in the blood pressure of the patient indicates that the patient lost approximately 35% of their blood volume. Some of the treatment options available for us is immediate application of the anti-shock garment. It's absolutely contraindicated in patients with a rupture of the diaphragm. Ringer's lactate is the preferred initial fluid replacement used to resuscitate hypovolemic trauma patient in shock. Hypotensive blunt trauma patients are usually given initial fluid push with 2,000 mL of Ringer's lactate. Patient with bleeding and in shock will probably require O negative blood. If the patient is given 4 units of blood but remains hemodynamically unstable, then that patient needs angiography and embolization of the major arterial bleed. Immediate application of an external fixer is another method to control bleeding, especially if the pelvis is unstable in external rotation. Abdominal and pelvic CT scan will clearly define the bony injury as well as the extent and the source of the bleeding. The best treatment for pelvic fracture with bleeding is a blood transfusion. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.